this is Dan with StarViews.com and today we're here to review the as seen on TV product, the bottle tops. First I want to discuss what you're going to get when you receive your kit after you place your order. You're going to get two for the price of one which is always nice. So you're going to receive a total of 12 bottle tops. And what we're going to do here today is test the bottle tops to see if they actually stack up to the claims that they make about the product in their infomercial. Some of those claims are that the bottle top is actually a leak proof seal that works with most of today's cans. So obviously here we have a can of soda. We're going to put it to the test and see if this rubber top is going to create a leak proof watertight seal. Then also they mentioned that this product works with different size cans, it works with your favorite energy drink for a bike ride, and then also it preserves the carbonation and fresh taste of your soda if you leave the soda in the refrigerator. So obviously we've done that. Let's go ahead and start our tests and see how the bottle tops stack up to the claims they make in the infomercial. Okay, so for the first part of our test, we're going to show you just how easy it is to install the bottle tops. Obviously here we have a can of Diet Dr. Pepper. We have a bottle top. Now obviously before you put the bottle top on, you want to make sure that you open the can because once the bottle top is affixed to the can, you're not going to be able to reach the tab. You want to make sure that you start with a clean top on the can. This way when the liquid and soda comes rushing out of the can, it doesn't pass over the dirt and then obviously you're drinking, you know, dirty soda. So to push down, you simply just grab it, try to push it flat. You're going to hear it click into place. It has a very tight seal. You can tell just as when you uh, install it. And then to, you know, to use it to drink, obviously this rubber top spins whichever way you feel most comfortable. You take the tab, push it up, and then obviously you can just take it and take a drink of your soda just like that. So for the next part of our test, as you can see I just took a drink. I see soda in resting on the top of the can, which is obviously why you want to make sure you use a clean top can. But none of it is leaking out around the sides. But you know, to mimic what they do in the infomercial, they take it and they turn it upside down. Well we just took it and turned it upside down and it might be the combination of the carbonation in the soda and the air has to have somewhere to go. The seal right here is strong enough that no soda is leaking out around where the bottle top meets the can, but around that watertight rubber top, obviously you can see the accumulation we have in the cup below, we are leaking and losing soda. And you can see the carbonation bubbles rushing out the sides of the uh, top. So I'd say for that part of the test, if you were to spill this or completely turn it upside down, you know, you'd be, you know, having yourself a little bit of a mess. Now if you were to spill it, as you can see, it has a slow drip, not as dramatic, but again, it probably released a lot of its carbonation already. And you're just getting some slight accumulation, but it definitely is leaking. To move on, in the infomercial, they discuss using the bottle tops for your favorite energy, energy drink while you're on a bike ride. Well, obviously the most popular and best-selling energy drink on the market today is Red Bull. Here we have a Red Bull. Here we have a bottle top. And there is no way to securely fix the bottle top onto the Red Bull. So obviously for that product, it's not going to work you know, at all. That's an 8.4 fluid ounce can. The regular soda can that we use here is 12 fluid ounces, obviously. But what happens if you stepped up to one of these tall Arizona iced tea cans, which is 23 fluid ounces, and you want to fix the bottle top to that? Well, here's your next problem. The bottle top is too small. It sits within the ring of the top of the can, which obviously it's going to fall off. It isn't sitting in there securely at all. So one other downfall about the bottle tops is that, you know, on the infomercial, they advertise, and they make it seem like it's going to work with more than just a 12-ounce soda can, but obviously when you receive the product, it doesn't really do that. Okay, so here we are for part two of our test, and that's a test to claim that they make in the infomercial that the bottle top is going to be able to preserve not only the carbonation, but also the flavor of the soda. So here we have two cans of Coca-Cola, just your regular 12-ounce cans. We've left them in the fridge overnight. This can't open without a bottle top, this can't open with a bottle top. So let's go ahead and pour them into these clear cups and see if the carbonation is the same or different between the two cans. So starting with the can of Coke that did not have the bottle top installed, simply just pour it into the cup. As you can see, really barely any carbonation, some slight carbonation on the top, but not much. Now let's move on to the 
can of Coke that had the bottle top installed. Open the top. That's the first time the top has been open since we placed the bottle top onto the can. So I would say, as far as that goes, it works pretty well. Obviously, you can see just right now between the difference between the can of Coke that didn't have the bottle top, which has no fizz on it at all, and the can of Coke that we had the bottle top installed on, obviously, you know, still looks pretty well. Let's taste and see if it preserved the flavor, which obviously I believe it would. It tastes like a regular can of Coke to me. Taste this one real quick. Obviously it tastes is still Coca-Cola, but that one's really flat and obviously pretty bad. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to remove the bottle top. You saw how we installed the bottle top. To remove it, it says in the instructions, just slightly squeeze the can and pull the bottle top off. It's actually hard to get off because it's on there so tight. We saw that the seal was very good between the bottom of the bottle top and the top of the can. And uh, obviously this has some soda left in it. Okay, you just got done watching our test of the bottle top and it was pretty clear that you saw our results. First I want to go over a couple of pros of the product. It's easy to use. It's easy to install. It's easy to remove. It's dishwasher safe which means that they're reusable. And also it keeps and preserves the freshness and flavor as well as the carbonation of your carbonated beverage that you're storing. On to the cons. They say in the infomercial that it's watertight and that it won't leak when you spill it. Obviously when we turned it upside down the carbonation forced some of the soda out of the top of the bottle top but where it met the can it still remained you know pretty watertight didn't leak. When we turned it on its side to kind of replicate what would happen if you spilled it it still leaked although it did leak a heck of a lot less with the bottle top installed than if I were to take that can and dump it on its side without anything installed. Star of using to give the product five out of six stars. The product does a pretty good job staffing up when we put it to the test versus some of the claims they make on their infomercial. The main thing we're probably disappointed in is that they don't point out that it really only works with your standard 12 ounce can and you're going to be disappointed if you get the product and try to use it with some different cans such as energy drinks and maybe some taller larger cans. Be sure to check out our website starviews.com using this link right here to see us review other as seen on TV products.